heavyweight collision between Anderson the Spider Silva and John Jones. So here is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, current UFC interim light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. Never lost the belt inside the octagon. It was transgressions outside the octagon that resulted in him being stripped of the title. But when the lights go on, you can argue this is the most dominant and best champion the octagon has ever seen. John Jones, although he started out as a wrestler, has grown to become one of the very best strikers and submission artists in the UFC. Incredibly successful against high-level competition and at a very young age. In fact, the youngest ever light heavyweight champion in the history of the sport. Considered by many to be the greatest mixed martial arts athlete of all time, here he is, Joe Anderson, the Spider Silva, 16-0 to start his UFC career. That is still a UFC record. Ten consecutive middleweight title defenses, an outstanding highlight reel. He has left so many high-profile athletes in his wake, and Silva, Joe, Still competitive here, well past his 40th birthday. Anderson Silva is the most successful middleweight champion in mixed martial arts history. A devastating Muay Thai striker with a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. is two inches taller, he will have a seven inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight world champion, John Bones Jones! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding the professional record of 34 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson, the Spider. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? Ready? All right, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. So here is the consensus greatest of all time, John Jones. We'll see how he approaches the early going here. Most of his fights in the UFC have been scheduled for five, yet he's only gone the distance. Wow! He's got him hurt here. Anderson Silva with some hard leg kicks. That is spot on, Joe. That one hurt. Back and forth we go. Very nice jab from Jones. Jones's cheek appears to be cut here, Joe. Yes, it is. Not ideal. How about that chin? Silva gets stung by that leg kick. Overhand right. Leg kick checked effectively there by Jones. It's in. He's deep. He's going to clasp the hands together. Back to the feet now. Visibly limping here. Oh! Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Can he hang on? Oh, he got tagged. Oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. We got to fight, folks. Oh, he's landed some good shots here. Wow! He's in deep danger right now. Deep danger. 
Again, he's, he's, he, he clinches here. Switching stances here. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet. Oh, 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 oh. He's stumbling. He gets back up, but barely. Look how well he is. Palmer in the building. shot to end the fight right there. Joe landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. All right, we now go inside the octagon, where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 33 seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout, Anderson, the Spider. Well, he is still considered by some to be the greatest to ever do it, and Anderson Silva certainly did it tonight. What a performance for the future Hall of Famer. He let his myriad skills take over and made it look relatively easy at times. Big W for the Spider under the lights tonight.